Good afternoon, runners. I wanted to do a check-in with you this afternoon, especially now as we start to hear about family members, friends, loved ones who are coming down with the virus. I know there's great concern and fear in our community, and I thought it would be helpful for you to hear about what UTSA is doing. I wanted to let you know how we've been doing this past week, how we're collaborating here locally, and how we're helping our nation. For the last week, we have been offering all of our academic programs online, and our workforce has gone to a telecommuting mode. What does this mean for UTSA? It means that we are now offering over 4,600 courses online. It means that 6,000 of our faculty, staff, and student hourlies are successfully telecommuting. Our Tech Cafe continues to remain a very valuable resource for all of UTSA, and any issues that arise, we are working quickly to resolve them so that they're fixed. I'm deeply indebted to our sister institution, UT Health San Antonio, for their collaborations with us over the last month. Their College of Nursing has trained our student health services staff in preparation for this week and beyond. We have provided them with an immense amount of personal protective equipment for use in their hospital settings. And our scientists and their scientists are working deeply around modeling the pandemic here in Bear County. And this will be very important information for policy setting as we go forward. More collaborations are in the works as I speak to you today. Our South Texas Center for Emerging and Infectious Diseases is working on the support of the development of a vaccine for the coronavirus. Our Center for Innovative Drug Discovery is working on screening antivirals and therapeutics against coronavirus. Our National Security Collaboration Center is now a member of the National COVID-19 Cyber Task Force. And our Institute of Economic Development and Small Business Development Center stands ready to support small businesses as the funds from the $2 trillion emergency spending bill make their way to San Antonio. We continue as an institution to be flexible, adaptable, and resilient. I'm so proud of our Roadrunner community. Go Runners!